Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. Data speeds slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. This morning, officials with Kentucky Power were in Johnson County to present a $50,000 check to the Christian Appalachian Project. Kentucky Power President Matthew Satterwhite says the money is a grant from the American Electric Power Foundation, and he says choosing CAP as the recipient was an easy choice. Um, and I had to find an organization that could put it into, a, into effect right away. And this organization already has a senior citizen program, already has a family housing program, where they go in and do a number of things to upgrade the houses and help with weatherization and help decrease heating bills and increase comfort for kids and senior citizens and families. Satterwhite says Christian Appalachian Project provides services to area residents year round, but there's no question that many expenses are much higher during the winter months, especially in homes that are in need of repair. We have some of the you know poorest counties in the country in our territory, and we feel a responsibility to do what we can to take care of that. Um, we have to run our utility business to make sure we have safe, reliable service. But on the other side, we're neighbors. We're a corporate partner, um, and we saw a gap, and so I acted quickly to make sure I could do anything I could do to fill that gap, and that's what this is. And officials with CAP say the $50,000 grant will allow them to serve more elderly and low-income families, many of whom are currently on a waiting list. We'll enhance some of the uh, materials that we need to do the repairs to the floor, do the repairs to water lines, uh, some weatherization to prevent uh, those cold drafts coming into the homes. Uh, because most of these people are living on very fixed incomes and they choose between they're going to pay their water bill, pay their heating bill, buy groceries, buy medicine. Gullet says there are currently 560 families on a waiting list for assistance with home repairs. In Paintsville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.